Hello and welcome to a quick video tour of this beautiful 2003 GMC Sierra 2500 HD SLE 4x4. This truck is equipped with an 8.1 liter V8 and a very rare 6-speed manual transmission. Okay, inside the truck, we'll go ahead and get it started up. You can see it's showing 109,537 miles. And we'll go have a look at the engine. There's that 8.1 liter V8. Runs nice and smoothly. Very clean engine bay in this truck. Dual batteries, heavy duty. Okay, back inside the truck, I'll demonstrate some power functions, starting with the windows. Here's the driver's side window. Passenger side. Here are the door locks. Here are the power mirrors. Select that over to the driver's side. See that go out, in, up, and down. These are also turn signaling illuminated mirrors. You can see those pop up in the glass. Here's the passenger side. You can see it go out, in, up, and down. Here is the turn signal indicator in that mirror. Hopefully you can see that in the glass. Horn. Here's the factory radio. Still sounds nice. This truck does have a Sirius XM radio adapter wired to the factory radio. This is a subscription-based service, obviously, so you can set up a subscription for the Sirius satellite radio and uh, get your satellite music. Next, we'll go ahead and listen for fan speeds. I'm gonna crank the speed up here and we'll just start to hear it come out of this vent.
as you can see here this is a non-smoker truck the ashtray and cigarette lighter appear to be unused now i'll demonstrate the 4x4 operation and as you can see here this truck is equipped with a gear vendor overdrive unit for the purpose of demonstrating the four-wheel drive it's best practice to turn the gear vendor off there's also a switch here to toggle overdrive, which I will demonstrate in the driving portion of this video, um, but it's important not to engage the overdrive while in four wheel drive as the overdrive only gives an overdriven gear to the rear axle. But now we'll go ahead and pull back this transfer case stock to four high. You can see we're in high range here. Four wheel drive light has come on. And we'll just let out the clutch and let the truck begin to take off. Now we'll take this selector up into low range, like so. You can see this thing will really take off and crawl in low gear. I'm not going to turn or anything like that as we're on dry asphalt. You can see there it engages as it should with no obscure noises or grinds or pop outs. Okay, now we'll go for a test drive. I just wanted to show you here that this is a dog leg six speed. So first gear is over to the left and back. This is really a granny low gear. You can see with no, no foot on the gas pedal, I can let the clutch out and this truck just takes off and crawls in first gear, barely registering any speed on the speedometer. I generally start out in second gear around town in this truck, which is just over and forward. And frankly, this 8.1 has so much torque, you could even start in third if you felt like it, but second is just fine. some pretty good get up and go here back into fifth gear and finally sixth this truck is quite silent to cruise down the highway despite the big brute of a v8 under the hood Okay, so up on the highway a ways, we're doing 70 to 75 mile per hour here. We'll come down and flip the gear vendor to the on position. Again, you'll see that button there. At about 75, we're doing 2,500 RPM. I'm going to push the clutch in, flip the switch on the shifter, and you'll see the change in RPM. You feel a little bit of an engagement from that gear vendor. And now you can see the RPM has dropped significantly. We're just shy of 2000 RPM at 75, 76 miles per hour there. So let's drop us down a good five to 600 RPM there at cruise. And that's going to help with efficiency dramatically. Now that we're in overdrive, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the cruise control operation. You flip that switch to the center, hit the button at the end of the stock. You see that green light come on. We are cruising just about 80 miles per hour at 2,000 RPM, which is pretty outstanding. One other thing I'd like to note, you'll see that the odometer is flashing on the camera. That's just the 
reaction of the frame rate and the display does not do that to the naked eye. Now to disengage the overdrive, you simply do the reverse of that order. Go ahead and go clutch in, push that switch forward on the shifter. And you can see the RPM come back to uh, you know about 2,500 there while we cruise in sixth. And this gear vendor can be engaged in, in any gear of this transmission, not that you really have a purpose to do it in some of the lower gears, but you can split fourth and fifth gear, fifth and sixth, so on and so forth. And lastly, you'll know that overdrive is engaged when you see the green light on the gear vendor display lit up as it is. Here's one last shot. I set the cruise control to just about 70 on the nose and we're doing approximately 1750 RPM. The truck just floats down the road, very nice, quiet in the cabin here. No wind noise, really nice. As I get back into the slower speeds of the highway here, I would also like to note that you do not need to disengage the overdrive to downshift the transmission. You will simply just clutch in and downshift as normal and you will be effectively splitting that gear um, with the gear vendor. And then if you wanted to turn that off, you go ahead and clutch in, flip your switch, and that is the real true RPM in fourth gear. And here we are into fifth. Okay, that is going to conclude this quick video tour of this 2003 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comment section below or use that contact seller button through Bring a Trailer. I'll leave a link to the Bring a Trailer auction in the YouTube comments down below. Thank you.